to stay up to date with all of the things The Division, make sure you subscribe and click that little bell notification. Hey guys, Rolly at or Taylor here and today I'm back with another Division video. Before we get into it, I just want to say sorry for being a little bit inactive. Uh, you can probably still tell but I've had a cold for the past 3 or 4 days, it's finally clearing now and I've really missed making videos. So today we're going to be going over the must buys of this week's vendor reset because unfortunately I wasn't able to do it on Saturday. That's me waffling, let's get straight into the video. So today we're going to start it in West 31st Street Dark Zone vendor. Here there's a really really nice pro red dot site. It's actually rolled with max crit hit damage at 19% and max crit hit chance at 2.5%. The only downside here is that it's got stability rolled on it instead of headshot damage. I'd still definitely recommend picking this up mainly for the max rolls of both crit hit damage and crit hit chance. Remember this was in West 31st Street Dark Zone Checkpoint Vendor. Another Dark Zone checkpoint and now we're in East 46th Street Vendor. A really nice rolled hollow sight tan here, rolled really high with crit hit chance and crit hit damage and it's even got the headshot damage on it as well. Only really mention in this one as well because of the high roll on crit hit chance. In one of my favourite safe rooms, the Firewall safe room, there's a really nice stamina skill haste mod here. It's rolled 265 on stamina, 2 off the max roll of 267, and of course it's got the max roll of 3% skill haste. I'd definitely class this as a god roll because it is, like I've already said, only 2 away from the max roll. Again, this was in the Firewall safe house. <laughs> In the Southpaw safe house, another great prototype performance mod here, and this time it's got 4% seeker mine damage on it. 4% is the highest, so this is a god roll if you're using seeker mines. In the Cavern safe house, another god rolled prototype performance mod, this time 4% ballistic shield damage. Definitely worth picking up these if you're thinking of rolling the defense classified gear set. At the base of operations gear vendor, another max rolled prototype performance mod this time sticky bomb explosion radius perfect for any tacticians wanting to challenge themselves with the legendary missions highly recommend these because like i've already said they are max roll for sticky bomb explosion radius this was at the base of operations gear vendor it obviously wasn't one of the best weeks for vendor resets but it definitely had some max rolled prototype performance mods and that's why i wanted to make this there's still a few of you out there that are testing out different builds and require the mods that i've showed off today if you enjoyed this video or it helped you in any way, then please let me know by either leaving a comment or by clicking that like button. And if you're new around here and want to stay up to date with all of the things The Division and The Division 2, then please make sure to subscribe. As always guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the future. As always, thank you and bye bye.